Earl Davis, Max Proud Channel. I know it's been a minute, but uh, really it's been slow motion. Nothing really has been coming my way that I really find, you know, interesting enough to uh, really show you guys anything. Uh, and I want to show you the, the fresher things, the newer things that are coming out. And, um, you know, and not try to overly go more of the same. And I've thought about that, what I just said. Uh, about not going over over the same all the time when I thought about this right here, but I don't know, this might be a little bit, you, you know, this is, is a uh, sub rate Starting by Music Man sub rate 5 uh, In the minty green I did a video Of one that is pretty popular people like to watch it of the minty green uh, force ring that they have out and um, with this one uh, only difference with that one, I was like in store. This one, I bought. Why? Why did I buy this? Because it's mint green. <laughs> I love the hell out. I, I, I owned a four string uh, some some years back, some before when they put it in a color, and they had it in a color, and then they stopped for a long time, then they brought the color back. I've always liked this color. It shows up very well. It's weird in a sort of way. It's kind of unusual. Um, from what I understand, not too many buy this color. Uh, is it a big, big seller? I'm not sure. Because uh, I, I bought this at... Okay, the, the regular uh, price for this is... Uh, retail is $319. $319. Plus tax, of course. And I got this for $244. Uh, shaved off quite a bit. Because I think it was the last couple of miles or last few they had left um, was it uh, Musician Friend had a Musician Friend I didn't buy this in the store I bought it offline musicianfriend.com and uh, yeah so I got a little bit of a deal some shaved off uh, and uh, I tried to look for it today to give you because I wanted to give you the specs and everything on it and I couldn't find it um, I think they sold the last few so maybe they might be discontinuing this I don't know I hope not it's a fine base <laughs> Fine bass, man. It's like, you know. That's uh, George Benson's uh, Give Me a Night, written by Rod Temperton. The great, late, late great Rod Temperton. Um, Temperton. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, standard uh, music man shape, you know, uh, 9 volt uh, uh, preamp inside of it, um, basic uh, humbucking pickup, nothing special, you know, this is the cheaper brand, so, of uh, music man, so, didn't put too much into it, but, you basically have a bass and tone here with one knob volume. You know, turn up uh, turn down the treble a little bit and more bass. Let's bass off. Bass on. in the news. I always like to tell people what bass line I'm playing. Um, that's hip to be square, by the way. Uh, and yeah, 
I, I just, you know, you, this, this is just a bang color, and that's basically, it was impulsive. That's basically why I bought the base. Um, I may change the pickup, to be honest. I may and put a, um, maybe an Aguilar into it. I'm not sure. Because actually, well, let, me, let me do this right quick. I have another subray uh, that I don't think, uh, uh, excuse me. I don't think I was showing you, did I? This is um, the mahogany version. The mahogany colored version of this base that I actually did put in some other electronics in. This is a, uh, an Aguilar uh, humbucking pickup, not the standard one that was in there. Configuration. I have to order some bigger knobs. So this is, um, you know, investing about. When I say, what was that? Preamp to Aguilar. A little over 200. I put into, the, into that because I wanted it to sound better. version so yeah so uh rosal fingerboard same thing just a little different than this one i bought completely out of uh impulse because it just i mean especially on stage you know it's just unusual it looks banging on stage look at that it pops out there bing put in the light Bing, bing, bing. I love it. <laughs> so I'll keep this a while. Yeah. So I just thought I'd show you that. In case you're interested. Uh, like I said, I don't know. I hope they're not just continuing this model because I've been looking all over for it. And, um, they're kind of running out and or not featuring it on some sites. So I'm wondering if this is gone. So. You know, I hope not, because I like the color for one. But, you know, maybe they weren't selling. Maybe you, you don't like this. This is a little bit much for you. What do you think? Give me your opinions on this color. I think it's banging. I like it. <laughs> so, so yeah. A little more of the same. But, you know, I, I just... Um, you know, it's been um, really slow. Um, as far as new bases and what coming out now so I don't, I don't really have anything to show you a lot of the high-end bases I haven't haven't been able to get in contact with either um, I just saw a few uh, bases uh, here on the, on the net I, I really like but you know it's hard to get demo time for them or anything uh, right here in Michigan we're in a uh, early January very very deep freeze it's cold, man. We're you know, nightly. We've been having but zero and below. So, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's always gotten cold in Michigan, but it's really cold. This is one of these few winters. That really, we're really in the grip of a uh, uh, really, really cold weather. So, I got my base here to keep me company and play warm, warm baselines. Okay. <laughs> so that's all from the Max Brow Channel. I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. It's just that uh, it's not much to show you. But I thought I'd show you that. You know, this nice little colorful Sterling by Music Man Subray. I love it for a few of you out there. If you think you want to pick it up, go right ahead. Okay, that's about it for the Max Brow Channel. Uh, hopefully I'll have some something to show you in a few weeks. I don't know. Okay, get back with you. Till the next base.